Hey everyone, welcome back. This is lesson 3 of the first course, Alphabet and Pronunciation. My name is Mustafa Nasser as always, and you are watching Arabic for Nuns. Today's lesson is about two more groups of similar shaped letters. Each one contains two letters, so in total, this lesson is about four more letters of Arabic alphabet. And don't worry, all of the letters in this lesson have equivalent sounds in English. The first group contains these two letters. The first letter looks like this, and we pronounce it as Ra. Ra, just normal R sound in English. Ra. And here is an example. This word, Ra, Rajul, Rajul, a man. The second letter in this group looks like this, almost the same shape, with an additional dot on top. We pronounce it as Z, Z, just normal Z sound in English, Z, Z, like in Zahra, Zahra, a flower. Now, let's move to the second group. The second group contains these two letters. The first one, we pronounce it as C, C, just normal S sound in English or C sound, S. Say, like in Semeke, Semeke, a fish. And the second one has the same shape almost, and we pronounce it as She, Sh, She. It has the same sound as the English sound SH, like in show, or the English sound CH, as in machine, Sh, She sound. She, Shems. She, shems, a son. So the four letters we have in this lesson are Ra, Ze, Se, and She. Now time for practicing. I want you to grab your pencil and your notebook and start practicing what I will practice now. You cannot learn any language by only watching. You must practice. Remember, the more you practice, the faster you become fluent. Welcome back. Today, we will practice the letters of lesson three in this course. We have two groups of letters. Each one contains two letters. Let's start with the first group. We will be having the starting point a little up the line. And first, I will do a sloped line going down until we reach the standard line, like this. This is the first step. And then, Another sloped line going below the line. And then a third sloped line going up like this. So we have three sloped line. One, two, three. Some people just simply write this letter as a one single curve like this. Which is okay, but this is the correct one. The second letter in this group have the same shape. Three sloped lines. One, two, three. And three. Okay, the difference again in the number of dots. The first one, letter Ra, has no any dots, while the second one, letter Z, has a single dot up. Okay, the second group needs your attention. I'll be having the starting point again from up the line. First, I will do three pins like this. Look at that. I'll start from here. One, two, three. Okay, and then the last one, I will stretch it down to make a curve, like this. So this letter, the first half of this letter is above the line, while the second half is below the line. Okay, the second letter in this group have the same shape. When I write this letter, I never raise my hand from the paper. I do it all in one single step. Look at that. Three pins as we say. One, two, three. Never raise your hand and a curve. That's it. The difference again in the number of dots. The first one, let us say, has no any dots. While the second one, let us share, has three triangular dots on top. Do you remember these three triangular dots? from the first listen, 
let us say, right? These two letters are the only letters in Arabic alphabet that have three dots like this. Just put this in your mind. Okay, let's do them one more time. The first group contains two letters. Letter Ra, we start a little up the line. Three lines like this. The second one, letter Z, three lines like this. This one has no any dots, while the second letter, Z, has a single dot. The second group, three pins and a curve. All we do in one step. We start a little up the line, three pins, don't raise your hand, a curve. Let us say this one has no any dots. The second one, let us share the same shape, three dots, don't raise your hand, a curve. And don't forget the three triangular dots. Okay, allow me to practice again what we did in the previous lesson. We had five letters that form two groups. The first one has three letters. We start a little up the line. Do you remember? A curve to the right and then a curve to the left and below. This is letter J as a single dot below the line. The second letter has the same shape, a curve to the right, a curve to the left and below. No any dots. This is letter H. And the last letter, the same shape, a curve to the right, and then a curve to the left and below. And we have a single dot up like this. This is letter H. Okay, the second group had two letters. We start again a little up the line. A curve to the right and below, like this, and then a horizontal line to the left. This is letter D, has no any dots. And the second letter, the same shape, and a single dot up. Remember, the more you practice, the faster you become fluent.